Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I just got a pretty exciting email. I was given access to the Notion AI waitlist. So now I can actually go ahead and play around with the AI that's been implemented into Notion. So I wanted to do a quick video to just go over the use cases and the types of content that you can generate with the new Notion AI writer. And I'll also be comparing the output quality that we get back from Notion AI compared to other popular AI language models such as ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and take a look at Notion AI, um, run some commands and see the type of quality that we're able to get back. And also, if you'd like to use any of the mentioned tools or softwares, I'll be leaving some links in the description below this video for some of my favorite AI tools and softwares. And also the giveaway is still going on. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is join uh, my Discord and each month you'll be entered for a new giveaway. Once you're accepted into the alpha access of the Notion AI Writer, it's pretty easy to use the actual AI Writer. All you have to do is hit the slash button and the commands for um, Notion will show up. So you will see the traditional uh, commands that were available to Notion users, but you'll also be able to see some of the new AI assist features that are included. So right off the bat, you see the help me write um, feature, the blog post feature and the brainstorm ideas. So if you would like to use any of these um, AI copywriting tools, all you have to do is click on that specific template and you'd be able to see how to actually use that template. And you'll also be able to generate content within that text box. So for instance, the help me write template allows you to write any type of content that you have in mind. So for example, you can write an article about the benefits of learning a new language. So for example, I asked the AI to write about the benefits of using a stand up desk. And as you can see here, uh, we got some benefits uh, from the AI. So standing desk provide a range of health benefits, including reducing neck and back pain. And again, if you wanted to access any of the other templates, just hit the slash icon, head over to more, and you'll be able to see the list of um, different templates and types of content you can generate using the Notion AI. So that's the help me write template. If you wanted the AI to continue writing from where it left off, you can hit the continue writing feature here. And as you can see, the AI will continue writing based upon the last output. And once the AI has generated that content, you can either keep it, try again, which means it will generate a new um, output, or you can discard that output. Below the continue writing template is the brainstorm template. So this is where you'd be able to brainstorm creative names or ideas uh, for content in which you're trying to create. So for example, I asked the AI to give me a list of fun games or icebreakers to play at a kid's party. And this is the creative ideas in which we got back, musical chairs, past the parcel, charades, and so on. And if you wanted some more specific AI writing features, you can highlight that content, click on the AI assist button, and this is where you'll be able to improve your writing. You can fix any spelling and grammar errors. You can summarize that piece of content. You can actually translate also that piece of content into a different language. Right now there's English, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, German, Italian, Dutch, Indonesian, Tagalog, and Vietnamese. So that's a nice feature there. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and actually translate your content, you also have the option to explain this content. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, you can find some action items, and you can also use simpler language. So we have a lot of different features here included, um, not just only to actually create your content, but also to um, improve your content in any other way that you like to do so. So in addition to having the AI generation tools that actually generate the content, you also have these specific AI tools that really allow you to customize and curate the best type of content. As I mentioned earlier, you can translate your content from English into a different supported language. So let's go ahead and actually give this a try and translate um, this sentence into German. And voila, it was that easy for us to translate our content from English into a different language. So if you want, you can actually go ahead and replace that content into the translated language, or you can replace it back to its original language. But that's a nice feature that's included in the Notion AI. In addition to being able to translate your content, you can improve your writing. So just go ahead and click improve writing. And as you can see, that content will be improved. Uh, you can also fix any spelling or grammar errors that may be in your content. And if you wanted to generate a completely new output, just hit the slash icon and you'd be able to see all of the templates and scenarios in which you can write using this AI. So for instance, let's say we wanted to write a blog post using the Notion AI Writer. So again, we go ahead and select that template. And now we just need to describe to the AI what the blog post is going to be about. So I've asked the AI to write me a blog post about the benefits of a regular sleep schedule and the benefits of sleeping at the same time each day. As you can see here, we got a nice title. We got an intro. 
we got a couple sub paragraphs here and then we got a conclusion so not a very long blog post by any means but um it is nice that we're able to generate this type of content within notion i don't think that it was their intention for this ai to replace all of your writing this is supposed to be an ai assistant to help you um, get started with some um, topic ideas and um, sort of get the ball rolling and then you can go ahead and add your own manual content some other cool content that you can generate with the notion ai writer are a pro and cons list, social media posts, outlines, creative stories, poems, essays, meeting agendas, press releases, job description, sales email, and recruiting email. And again, we have um, these specific features that we went over earlier in the video. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of different types of content that you can generate using the Notion AI Writer. Personally, I believe that the Help Me Write, Continue Writing and Brainstorming Ideas will be the most relevant and useful templates uh, included in Notion AI because you'll be able to brainstorm new ideas and you can also continue writing um, from anywhere that you've left off in your content and you can use the help me write um, feature to help you write about any topic that you can think of. So those will be very useful when you're uh, using Notion on a daily basis. For the other templates, I think they will be nice to have. But uh, if you have another like AI copywriter such as ChatGPT, Jasper AI or Skillnut, then those AI copywriters are much more well tuned to give you the best types of output quality for, let's say, an essay or for a specific short and long form copy. So I do think that this is a nice addition to Notion and I do think it will be very useful to those that use Notion on a daily basis. If you haven't signed up for the Notion AI waitlist, I'll leave a link in the description below this video so that you can sign up and I get first access to it when it does release. Let me know what you think about Notion AI. Will you be using it um, as you use Notion or do you think that um, it would be best suited to use another AI copywriter for your copywriting needs? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.